Okay. Let me go there now. Okay. Yeah, steeper angle that works. Okay, so the um, the thrusters on your ship, they do not like the uh, they do like the vacuum of space. They're well, we're talking spaceships here, right? And we have thruster efficiency curves on these thrusters. So at some point, especially the MEF thrusters, they will cease working because they don't like atmosphere. They will overheat very, very quickly. So there's the question, what happens when you go down to a planet and you want to rotate your ship with your thrusters off? Well, we'll see. Can you go to external view? Can you waggle your tail? Okay, back first person. Okay, so what you see here is the new aerodynamics model. Because obviously our uh, left stick is somewhat damaged or so, <laughs> we can't be as fast as we want. Um, actually, Brent, can you try a W and S on the keyboard instead? Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yep, okay. No, the stick is, uh, is, the stick is, uh, affecting us. Okay, anyways, we're going to go down as much as, uh, as far as possible. So the new aerodynamic system is a complete replacement of the aerodynamic system that you currently have. And you need, thr um, you need your control surfaces to actually uh, turn the ship around. It simulates the airflow over your lift surfaces, and therefore the slower you become, the less effective those uh, control surfaces will be in order to turn your ship. So we can demonstrate this. So if Brent just sits here and yaws left and right, you will see he cannot go f uh, further than that. That is in line with what real airplanes uh, also experience when they're trying to use the rudder to your left, uh, left, uh, left and right. So what Brand can do here is he can roll and he can pull to actually change um, his direction. Okay, so just for this demo, we added a button. The button is called Thruster Disconnect. Because um, at the moment in the PU, when you go through a planet, you're using the thrusters to rotate. We're not doing that anymore. So, Brent, disconnect the thrusters, please, and put the ship into a purposeful stall. A stall happens when the airflow over a wing ceases, um, or over a lift surface ceases. And then at some point, you will not have any authority anymore, and your ship will not turn and so on, and you will basically fall out of the sky. That is naturally a state that every plane wants to avoid naturally, right? And this is happening right here. Brent is not able to, uh, to use the control surfaces right now because the ship is in a, in, in a process of stalling. However, the airflow will pull the nose back into the wind, and once you have enough speed, he can actually, well, he, he gets authority back over those control surfaces. That means for you as players, what you, could, what you can actually do, you can do aero braking, you can do pure gliding if you want to. Uh, you can even do like competitions like, I don't know, like drop ships out of orbit and then see how fast far they glide. This is all possible with a new system.